All right, so apparently I woke up to some pretty exciting stuff. We now officially have the full details and animations for the upcoming LR Metal Cooler and LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta that are dropping for part two of the worldwide celebration. And these banners are expected to come out uh, in about a day and a half, either the night of the 14th or the morning of the 15th, depending on your time zone. And uh, yeah, of course, in this video, we're gonna be fully breaking down both of these units as well as the new side unit, which is a uh, Krillin and Kid Gohan. Now, real quick, before we jump into it, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Madara Accounts. If you guys are looking for a stacked global account with thousands of stones and lots of great units for very reasonable prices, then make sure to head down to the link in my description and check them out. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is Madara Accounts and discount code TIGER for 20% off everything. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, get right into it. And before we break down the details, the kits for these LRs, let's start with the animations first. And between the two units, um, I mean, I'm definitely a lot more excited for Goku and Vegeta than I was like initially, but Cooler is still the main man. Okay, he's still the main guy that I am really, really stoked for. So we'll start with his animations first. And obviously I did see the little promo video they released like two days ago, but I haven't seen the full set of animations. So uh, yeah, let's pop back to the beginning here. I'm a pause my music and enjoy guys お前が死に物狂いで俺を倒したところで俺は何度でも蘇る <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> that was awesome, that was awesome, I was just a little bit confused about like which animation I was watching at which point, you know what I mean, so uh, obviously we started out with like some super attacks, 12 key, 18 key, um, this part is definitely the revival, no sorry, the, oh, this is the revival skill, right? Or no, it's not the revival. So this is the nullification? Because I know he has a nullification for um, a certain type of super attack. Hold on, let me, let me just rewatch a little bit, like a few snippets here, just to be sure. Okay, so this is the nullification, right? 
it's showing you that if you have a full 24 key super or at least an 18 key super then you can nullify the super attack so there's that and the animation for the like regrowing of the arm is amazing by the way and this is when you get killed right you get killed and then you revive with the you know cooler army thing and i guess this part would be the active skill so overall um these animations look great the 12 and 18 key super attacks i gotta say they're pretty normal right they're like not super special but it's the it's the nullification thing with like the arm and then the revival skill is awesome and then of course the active skill here with like the core head is is awesome too so cooler animations do not disappoint now let's move on to the goku and vegeta along with the uh kid goku and krillin or sorry, Kid Gohan and Krillin. Kid Gohan and Krillin. So, here we go. Okay, um, I might have to take things back, take what I said in the beginning of this video back. Goku and Vegeta look amazing, man. Oh my god. Yo, I think the animations actually are better than Cooler's animations. If I'm being, if I'm being completely honest. If I'm being completely honest, and I don't know, I probably still want Cooler more. I, I probably still want to learn more, but it's it's a lot closer now. It's a lot closer now after seeing the full animations from both units. Um, I I think uh, I, I think these animations look better than Coolers. Not to say Coolers looks bad, right? Let don't take that away from what I'm saying. But these guys, uh look incredible um i don't know there's something about these animations that just look more uh hype more cinematic i don't know i don't know what the word is but the, the point is man it's it works for me it works for me so there you go that is the goku and vegeta um they do get like a costume change mechanic which uh you'll see in a bit once we go through the details and then uh, at the very end here we have the active skill attack of course when they're fighting the um you know core metal cooler right so that is oh, also the chaos screen the chaos screen is dope too i like how vegeta is just like falling to his death while goku is still kind of alive but like barely right <laughs> um but yeah that is the the two saiyans and then um now let's 
take a look at the, uh, the the details, the kits. I know I spent a lot of time going over the animations, but yo, these videos were long, and I wanted to give you guys like my initial reactions. Um, I love both. I think both look great, but I would give the edge animation-wise to the Goku and Vegeta. Okay, so moving on here, let's start with the Metal Cooler. Um, he is an Extreme Fizz LR, as you can see, and uh, his leader skill is, let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see here, uh, Wicked Bloodline Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 200%. So just like the LR Bird Coup, just the straight up 200% leader skill for an existing category. And uh, the good thing is that the Metal Coolers now, like all of the other Metal Coolers in the game, right? Like the AGL one, the Free to Play ones, um, they all have 200% leader skills because previously they did not, right? So 200% to Wicked Bloodline and passive is Terror of the Revived Cooler. Recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, and if HP is 50% or less, recovers an additional 10% HP. So essentially, you're getting 20% HP recovery um, at the start of each turn if your HP is below 50%. And then key plus two, an attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional defense boost of up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost plus an additional key plus one up to key plus four and attack and defense plus 15% up to 60% with each attack received and then recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn in which an additional attack or sorry in which an attack was received and recovers an additional 5% HP when there is another ally whose name includes metal cooler attacking in the same turn great chance of nullifying unarmed super attacks directed at the character, revives with HP fully recovered when the character is KO'd once only. Which is crazy, it basically is a no condition revival skill, which I love, and uh, the healing, the healing with this guy is just outrageous man, I mean you got 10% to start, that's just the base. And then you got 10% more if your HP is 50% or less. And then you get 10% more and an additional 5% when there is another Metal Cooler unit attacking in the same turn. So you're looking at up to 35%. Okay, so it's not like all at, all at once. It's not all at once. It's like start of the turn and also end of the turn. So up to 20% at the start of the turn, up to 15% at the end of the turn of the turn, but in that turn you're basically able to get up to 35% HP recovery, which is just dumb. And that is just gonna help a lot when you're dealing with events where you're taking a lot of damage, you need to stay alive, you can't use a bunch of items because usually they're limiting your items. Um, this guy might be the best healer in the game, right? He, he might be the best healing unit in the entire game, and on top of that he's getting a lot of attack. A lot of defense, so he will be very tanky on his own, and he should put up some big damage. Although, obviously, he's not gonna hit as hard. I don't think he's gonna hit. He's gonna hit nearly as hard as the LR Final Form Cooler, but his damage should be quite good. And uh, yes, yeah, defense is gonna be good as well. And then the healing is just once again, it's outrageous. That is an outrageous amount of healing, and of course, the uh, great chance to nullify unarmed super attacks is also going to be a uh, clutch on certain events, of course, it depends on the enemy's like type of super attack, but if you are fighting someone with an unarmed super attack, then that's a 70% chance to basically completely nullify the, um, the super attack, right? So that is the passive for the cooler, and uh, quickly looking at the links, big bad bosses, strongest clan in space, there's for conquest, auto regeneration, nightmare fierce battle, and legendary power, no surprises there. And the super attacks, 12k super raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and greatly lowers attack. And ultra super, do we have that here? Let's see, massively raises attack and uh, raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers the enemy's defense. Those are the two supers and we have the active skill which is Life Force Absorption can be activated starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle if the character revives, uh, sorry, receives an attack seven or more times in battle or after the revival skill is activated once only. 
and the effect is greatly raises the attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and recovers 30% HP. So, like I said, man, the best healer in the game, the best healer in the game, you're getting not only up to 35% recovery with his passive, you're getting another 30% with his active skill. From a keeping you alive perspective, he is better than LR Final Form Cooler. Offensively, I don't think he's as good, but you gotta like, you know, give a little something to get all this healing, right? So, um, people are always gonna make the comparison, right? Because it's just, you know, two new coolers uh, in part one and part two, but I think they're both gonna be good for their own purposes. Like the part one cooler, offense, is definitely his thing. And then this guy, more defense slash healing slash, uh, you know, keeping you alive, right? So I would just run them together, obviously, if you have the option, that's, that's, that's pretty clear. So that's the active skill. And uh, do we have anything else here? Oh, uh, categories. Categories are Wicked Bloodline, Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Artificial Life Forms, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, Corroded Body and Mind, Accelerated Battle, Power Absorption, and Powerful Comeback. So that is the LR Metal Cooler details. And uh, this video is going very long, so I don't want to spend too much more time here, but he looks great. <laughs> he looks incredible. He is basically um, what I expected, and that is really, really amazing. So that is the Metal Cooler. Let's move on to the next unit here, which is the Goku and Vegeta with a morale boost uh, mechanic, which is basically a costume change, but this time they're calling it a morale boost, which I guess kind of makes sense, but they could have just called it, you know, costume change like before, but it's fine. Not a big deal. So we have Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super AGL. Uh, leader skill is Joint Forces or Movie Heroes Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Pure Saints category. So first thing I thought of was uh, killing Khalifla, 200% leader skill. That's great, and of course, um, you know, any movie heroes Pure Saiyans, uh, but Join Forces is finally getting that 200% leader skill, which is pretty dope. I mean, of course, only for Pure Saiyans um, units, but we got a couple of those for sure. I mean, of course, we got like all the Goku and Vegeta's, um, and that might be it. But nonetheless, solid leader skill. I don't mind that. And then passive is Q plus three attack and defense plus one hundred and fifty percent reduces damage by twenty percent, or reduces damage received by twenty percent plus an additional Q plus one per type key spear obtained. Launches an additional attack that is a high chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional damage reduction of 20% for three turns from start of turn, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, and a medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack, receives a morale boost when conditions are met. So uh, the passive for this unit is pretty standard, I would say, pretty standard. You're basically just getting a big attack and defense boost, getting up to 40% damage reduction for the first three turns, which is incredible. And then you're also getting 50% more attack and defense and a medium chance to crit for the 18 key super. And then you get the costume change slash morale boost when conditions are met. Oh, also uh, key plus one per type key sphere obtained, which of course is great for getting that 18 key super. So there's not much to say here. I think it's a good passive. It's just a little bit, um, Basic, maybe, which is fine, which is fine. And then from there, we have the super attacks. Uh, let's see, the 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes cost of damage. And then the 18 key super uh, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega cost of damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. And then for the morale boost, the condition is receives a morale boost upon entering next attacking turn after the character performs three or more super attacks and receives an attack seven or more times in battle. So in theory, depending on the event, you could 
potentially get this on the second appearance, right? Because they do get that additional attack on their passive. So if you are able to super three times on turn one and then take seven hits somehow, which does happen in some events early on, but it's pretty rare, right? So it's more likely you'll get this like by turn five or beyond, but the earliest you could expect to get this is turn three, but that's very, very rare. But either way, it's not a bad condition. I think usually by like turn five or six, um, you'll be able to, you know, see this. And for the morale boost, they basically get kind of messed up. Goku loses his shirt and uh, Vegeta's armor gets all messed up. And they of course get a boost across their entire kit. So um, let's take a look at the morale boost details here. Obviously the leader skill stays the same, but the passive becomes key plus two. Attack and defense plus 150% reduces damage received by 30% plus an additional key plus two per type key sphere obtained. So you're getting key plus two now instead of key plus one. Launches an additional attack. That is a great chance of becoming a super attack. So that's 70% now, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack and then performs a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So similar, similar passive. Uh, compared to pre before the revival skill, or sorry, uh, before the morale boost, right? Very similar, just a little bit better. You know, we got the higher chance to crit, we got the uh, extra key, and of course the guaranteed crit on the 24 key super. So that is the passive, and otherwise, I think the super attacks might stay the same. So we got 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super greatly, or sorry, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega cost of damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And then we have this active skill, which uh, can be activated when facing only one enemy starting from a uh, next attacking turn once only, and it causes ultimate damage and stuns the enemy for one turn. And I don't think I talked about their links and Categories. So real quick, Link's Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, the Saiyan Lineage, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Joined Forces, Movie Heroes, Pure Saiyan, Super Saiyans, Full Power, All Out Struggle, and Powerful Comeback. So that is the LR Goku and Vegeta. Uh, they look very, very good. Between the two LRs, I'm not sure which one's better right now. I kind of want to lean cooler just because of the crazy healing. But these guys look great as well. It's just, um, once again, I think their kit looks a little bit basic, if I'm being honest. But that's not a bad thing. They seem like they're going to perform really, really well offensively and defensively. So, um, yeah, I think they're great. I'm just not sure if they're better than the metal cooler. Hmm, it's too early. It's too early. I gotta think about it a little bit more. I might have to see them in action, but they're both very, very good nonetheless. Okay, so the last thing we'll do before we go is uh, take a quick look at the side unit here, which is the Super Tech Krillin and Gohan. And the leader skill is Movie Heroes, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, uh, passive uh, attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and performs a critical hit within character's next attacking turn uh, every time the character attacks three times in battle. Performs a critical hit with seven or more key spheres obtained, all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% per movie heroes uh, category ally attacking on the same turn up to 15%. So they continue to give these side units just these crazy, crazy passives just like they did for the new Piccolo in part one. Yeah, they just look like a really, really good side unit from what I can tell. So. That is the passive. Links are Solid Support, Infighter, Shock and Speed, Cold Judgment, Kamehameha, Courage, and Fierce Battle. Categories Movie Heroes, Joint Forces, and Battle of Wits. And uh, 
The super attack effect is raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. So that is the Krillin and Gohan. And now we're back to the beginning with the animations. So that's it, guys. That is going to be today's video. That's all they're really you know is to say uh these units look incredible these units look awesome i can't wait to see them like in action i can't wait to see them actually uh in the game so i can get like a full feel for them right because seeing the details on paper gives you an idea of how they're going to perform but it's not the same as actually using them in the game against various events right so uh i can't say exactly like if they're now the best units in the game or how they exactly compare to the part one LRs well I can definitely say that if they're not as good they're definitely very close and there's a decent chance they're actually better so we'll see we'll see but um, I, I'm encouraged by what I see so far especially the animations the animations are some of the best in the game no question and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all of this stuff the details the animations uh, after seeing everything, which one are you the more hyped for at this point? And uh, also let me know how many stones are you planning to spend? How many stones do you have for the cooler? How many stones do you have for the Goku and Vegeta? How are you going to split those stones, you know? And uh, get ready guys, the banners are dropping very, very soon. Like I said, about a day and a half from now, I will be live on the channel to do my summons when that happens so stay tuned for that and uh that's it as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out